Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Some are calling it the prom of the union, where you take a member of the opposite party to the speech. Uh, we're, we're, we're into a whole media event where everybody is posing for the cameras. And in the middle of it, President Obama was laying out his vision for the next two years. He's calling for major investments in education, infrastructure, science, and technology. But Republicans say investments is just a Democratic code word for more spending. As John Jessup reports, the GOP is ready to do just the opposite, cut the budget. With a theme of winning for America, the president insisted the country is poised for progress. Progress, he says, that comes with a commitment to face the challenges head on. We know what it takes to compete for the jobs and industries of our time. We need to out-innovate, out-educate, and out-build the rest of the world. He called for encouraging innovation, reforming education, and modernizing America's infrastructure and industries. Those calls come with a cost which he described as investments. Talk of investments led to a cold reception from Republicans who see it as more government spending. Whether sold as stimulus or repackaged as investment, their actions show they want a federal government that controls too much, taxes too much, and spends too much in order to do too much. The GOP might be a more willing partner in efforts to tackle the federal debt and deficit spending. The president proposed a five-year freeze on all non-security-related discretionary spending. It's not a question of the level of spending. The question is how you direct the spending, whatever the level may be. But Republicans are eager to do more. Some lawmakers have proposed as much as $100 billion in spending cuts. We shouldn't just give our people a government that's more affordable. We should give them a government that's more competent and more efficient. On health care, the president said he's open to making changes, but defended the reform law for improving lives. President Obama acknowledged the empty seat in the chamber, reserved for Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, and called on Republicans and Democrats to work together to build a better America. The president has a tough sell, not only here on Capitol Hill, where he must convince a divided Congress to buy into his plans, he must also win over a skeptical American public whose votes last November showed they overwhelmingly rejected the president's policies. John Jessup, CBN News, Capitol Hill. Well, it certainly was a more subdued president last night. Uh, you know, I think the word humble could be applied to how he presented himself. But at the same time, I had an overwhelming sense that there was just a veneer of civility. And it was all just for the cameras. And we were all just looking at political theater. Uh, and that when this speech is over and the cameras and, and all the national attention gets turned off, uh, we're going to be right back to politics as usual. I hope in all of this we can rein in our space because we need to. Lee Webb has the rest of our top stories from the CBN newsroom. Lee? Gordon, a British couple fined for refusing to rent a room to a homosexual couple has decided to appeal that ruling. Peter and Hazel Mary Bull run a guest house in Bristol, renting out the rooms upstairs and living downstairs. The Christian couple has a policy of not renting double rooms to unmarried couples, gay or straight. Last week, a judge ruled their policy violates a British law protecting gay rights. The couple says they will not compromise their biblical principles, though, even though they may lose their home. Mrs. Bull says the ruling shows that Christians are being marginalized in Britain. Two states now are taking steps to put more restrictions on abortion clinics. In Kansas, those who perform late-term abortions will have to do a better job of explaining why. They must state clearly the medical reasons why an abortion after 21 weeks is necessary to save the mother's life or prevent permanent harm. And in Texas, Governor Rick Perry has fast-tracked legislation requiring women to have an ultrasound first if they're seeking an abortion. An American lawmaker is taking steps to protect religious minorities in the Middle East and South Central Asia. Virginia Congressman Frank Wolf has introduced legislation calling for the creation of a special envoy at the U.S. State Department. Congressman Wolf points to this deadly church bombing in Egypt on New Year's Day. He says attacks against religious minorities are increasing there and in Iraq, among other places. He says the U.S. has an obligation to intercede, especially among allies receiving billions in U.S. aid. Gordon? 
Well, congratulations to Congressman Wolf. He's been a leader for years in protecting the rights of religious minorities and, in particular, the rights of persecuted Christians. Uh, yeah, we need this kind of uh, intervention from our State Department, particularly in Iraq, where the Christian minority has been leaving uh, that country by the droves. So uh, if we can intervene and provide protection, I'm all for it. Terry? Well, still ahead, a couple crawls out from under $50,000 of credit card debt. Thanks to one simple step, we'll tell you what they did next. In this latest DVD, The Law of Expectation, Pat and Gordon Robertson bring you powerful principles of thought and behavior that can transform your life. You'll discover the power of expectations in your life, how to break through the limits of your faith, and what it means to agree with God and receive His favor and abundance. Get the law of expectation and learn to expect and experience the wonderful blessings God has for you. Well, millions of Americans are caught in the credit crunch. Carl and Don Dos Santos had $47,000 in credit card bills. Today, they're almost debt free and making more money than ever. Carlos and Don DeSantos are raising their boys in their lovely Harrison, New York home. But when they set out to find their dream home years ago, they realized that living near New York City, finding something in their price range was next to impossible. It was frustrating because the, every time we went and bid on a home, we were outbid. Dawn became a realtor to get the inside scoop on new listings, and when the perfect home came on the market, the DeSantoses got the house for $50,000 less than the asking price. I was very excited. It was a new chapter in our life. We waited, you know, four years in that crazy market, and we finally got our home. But on the way home from closing on the house, Carlos's back gave out. What he thought was a mild injury a few days before at his construction job turned out to be something far more serious and he'd be out of work for several weeks. When you're sitting at that table and you've seen all those bills and you don't see anything to pay for them, you know, you're like, Lord, how am I gonna do this? Meanwhile, the DeSantoses were forced to use credit cards to make repairs on their house. A major pipe broke in the house that was unexplainable. Windows cracked after we bought the house. It wasn't anything cosmetic. It was things that were necessary to function in the house, and we had no choice. Carlos eventually got better, but the financial damage was done. He told Dawn he wanted to stop tithing to their church and to CBN. Dawn encouraged him to reconsider. The only way to be in God's blessing is to tithe. For Malachi 3.10 says, bring all that you have into my storehouse and see if I will not open the windows of heaven and give you a blessing that you can't contain. And it, it's God's, it's not mine, it's his first. But the fact remained, the DeSantoses had racked up nearly $50,000 in debt. And I cried out to the Lord and I said, Lord, you promised, you promised if we, if we feed the poor and we take care of the widows that you would take care of me. And at that moment, the phone rang and it was CBN. And the woman on the other end she knew my struggle. It was like God told her to call me and she prayed for the windows of heaven to open up over us. After that prayer, Don and Carlos cut up their credit cards and started living on what they earned. And they started to see a breakthrough. When Carlos went back to work, he was offered lots of overtime. Yes, okay. And as an agent, Dawn started closing far more real estate deals than she ever had before. With the extra income, they started paying off their credit cards. We were very relieved. We, I was excited because I didn't have to worry about money coming in. Then they got some great news. Our house increased by 80, 70 to $80,000, and we were able to get off of a variable interest rate into a low fixed interest rate, and that saved us $700 a month, which we started to apply to pay down our debt. Don and Carlos expect to be completely out of debt by the end of this year. I totally believe that it was only God's hand because of my commitment in my tithing and because of my commitment to continue to CBN, I only believe 
that that is the reason why the turnaround, it was only God, and there's nothing else that can change my mind about that. It's only God. God answers the prayers of his people. He also backs up his promise. Now, Dawn got into some bad financial trouble. So did her husband Carlos together. $47,000 in credit card debt. Now, she says, I'm not going to stop tithing. I'm not going to stop giving. I'm going to do what God asked me to do. And then she cried out, God, you promised. Well, what was the promise that she reminded God of? It's from Isaiah 58, verses 7 through 9. I want you to share your food with the hungry and to welcome poor wanderers into your home. Give clothes to those who need them. If you do these things, your salvation will come like the dawn. Then when you call, the Lord will answer, yes, I am here. He will quickly reply. This is the foundation verse for Operation Blessing. And we here at CBN, we believe in this verse that if we do these things, if we share food with the hungry, if we welcome poor wanderers into our homes, if, if we give clothes to those who need them, if we take care of the homeless, if we take care of the hungry, if we give clothes to people, if we give help to people, then when we call, God will answer. And that's exactly what happened to Dawn. As she was crying out, she gets a phone call. How can we pray for you? How can we bring God's blessing to you? How, how can we intercede on your behalf? And then they cut up their credit cards. They stop doing the things that cause money to leave you. And then God started pouring into them. That same thing can happen to you if you just say, I'll live by God's principles. Well, balancing work and family is a challenge for many single mothers. Mary Gilbert was no exception. She struggled to raise a whole family on a salary that could barely support one person. But one day, Mary took a step that quadrupled her income. Mary Gilbert's Oakland, New Jersey home is a busy place. Mary runs a successful daycare that started quite small. I walked out of this front door in this home and the girl across the street that I knew from when I grew up, she yelled one day, she said, Mary, do you know anybody who takes care of kids in their home? She was looking for somebody to watch her kids. I'm like, I will. Initially, it was extra income. However, when Mary went through a difficult divorce, she found herself raising two boys alone, and her small daycare was now her only source of income. It was a difficult time. It was the hardest time I ever went through in my life. On Sunday nights after church, we'd stop at the local custard stand and get ice cream, and there were times when I didn't even have, it was $1.25 for ice cream, and I didn't have enough money to get myself an ice cream cone. So I got the boys their money, but I thank the Lord that I was able to get them their treat, and then just, I, you're gonna have to see me through till next week, Lord. I don't need anything right now. And my boys are happy, so. Even during this struggle, Mary remained faithful in the biblical principle of giving 10% of her money to God. But I also told the Lord, I said, I'm okay, I'm, I have food, I have my bills are paid, I'm going to tithe, but I have nothing else until next Friday. Month after month, Mary was able to get by because more and more parents asked her to watch their kids. Mary wanted to give more. She loved watching the 700 Club, so she decided to become a CBN partner. I first joined the 1000 Club. And I had, I had $84 a month to be able to give. But then to move up again to the next level was a little bit, that was a step of faith. And I didn't really have it to give it away. Mary's daycare continued to grow. Her income was now four times more than when she first opened. So she increased her giving and became a CBN founder. The Holy Spirit just said, you need to move up again. And this time I didn't hesitate because I was so blessed the last time that, you know, experience is a good thing. Mary's income increased so much, she joined the chairman's circle. You can live better on God's 90% than you can on your 100%. You give and he gives in return. It's simple. It is simple. It seems illogical. It seems counterintuitive, but it is very simple. And when you do what God asks you to do, then the increase comes. And that's what happened to Mary. Here, here she is, a single mother. What do I do? How, how, do I, how do I make it in the world today? 
And God starts giving her ideas, both how to get income and then how to give and increase her giving. First time she hesitated, but the second time the blessings were so great that she said, of course I'm going to increase. I, I want to get into the blessings of God. Here's the promise. It's from 2 Corinthians chapter 9. Remember this. A farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop, but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop. For God loves the person who gives cheerfully, and God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. And that's what happened to Mary Gilbert. That can happen to you if you just accept God's promises as true to say, yes, he'll do what he says he'll do if you'll do what he asks you to do. Now, if you want to take an adventure in giving, we're inviting you to join the 700 Club. All you have to do is call a toll-free number, 1-800-759-0700, and just say, yes, I want to start 2011 right. I want to start giving and, and be a generous giver and be a cheerful giver, and I'm going to obey the principles that God's laid down, and I'm going to follow them and see what happens to me. Now, if I can get a drum roll, we've got some, a, a wonderful uh, partner. It's, this, is, this challenge comes from a group called Widow's Might, and they're dear friends of CBNs, and they've provided for Orphan's Promise, they've provided for water wells, uh, they've done amazing things with auctions across the country. Uh, and they, they've challenging for the next 30 minutes, you, $82,000. That's wonderful. What a challenge means is they'll match you dollar for dollar. They like giving so much. They've gotten joy from it. They've, they're certainly generous. They've, they've got this name, Widow's Might, but it's, it's grown to be a lot more than a might, where it's become a generous source. And they're saying, we like it so much that we want to challenge you for the next 30 minutes, dollar for dollar, $82,000. So let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing. We ask for blessing for all those associated with Widow's Might, those who made it possible to issue this challenge. And Lord, I just ask that you would increase it, that you would triple it, that blessings would just flow into them now. And for those watching, making decisions, we just, we, we ask that you would encourage them and speak to them. Just as you spoke to Mary Gilbert, speak to them. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen, amen and amen. You heard it, $82,000, 29 minutes, 55 seconds to go. What we're asking you to do is say, I'll, I'll test God. I'll try God. If, if he is asking me to give, I'll give. Call that number, 1-800-759-0700. How much is it to join? Just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you say you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold, that's $40 a month. There's 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, and that translates into $84 a month. 2,500 Club, 2,500 a year. Founders is $5,000, and then Chairman Circle, if you want to make a significant gift, $10,000 or more a year. At whatever level God is challenging you to give, Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Let's go over to Wendy. Thanks, Gordon. Well, it's a brand new year, and maybe it's time for a new mindset, a new way of thinking. You know, God wants us to stop dreading the worst and start expecting the best. You know why? Because he's a good father, and like any good father, he wants to bless us. Our job is simply to believe that he can, believe to receive. It's known as the law of expectation. It's a universal law, and... It works no matter who you are. Gordon and Pat have put together this dynamic teaching. You will love it. It's one of my favorite all-time teachings here at the 700 Club, and it's yours when you become a partner with the 700 Club. But first, let's check this out. Hi, I'm Gordon Robertson. Jesus told us that if we have faith, we can speak to the mountain and it will move. Are there mountains in your life that you're currently facing? How do you break through the limits of your faith and see the miracles God has promised you in His Word. My father and I have put together a special teaching, The Law of Expectation. In it, you'll discover how to train your heart and mind to expect great things. In this latest DVD, The Law of Expectation, Pat and Gordon Robertson bring you powerful principles of thought and behavior that can transform your life. You'll discover the power of expectations in your life how to break through the limits of your faith 
and what it means to agree with God and receive His favor and abundance. Get the law of expectation and learn to expect and experience the wonderful blessings God has for you. Isn't that phenomenal? You get what you expect. It seems so basic, so easy, but it's revolutionary if you put it into practice. This teaching will do that. The law of expectation, you can expect great things this year. We want you to have it. It's yours when you call right now and join the 700 Club, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. We are in the middle of an $82,000 challenge. Thanks to our friends from Widow's Might, and I just want to give a shout out to Janet Baker and all the ladies from Widow's Might. I love you guys. You guys are doing great things for CBN, and you're such an example of God's heart and the fact that when you give, you can't outgive God. He just keeps giving and giving. So please go to your phones right now. We want you to have the law of expectation. Gordon? Well, in just a few years, Vutran went from scraping by on minimum wage to running his own business. Here's how he did it. Vu Tran has a lot to be thankful for. He has a beautiful family and owns a thriving aquarium business, and he often has more work than he can handle. Compare that with life a few years ago, and you get a pretty different picture. I had a minimum wage job that was paying, but I was barely making ends meet, and it was, uh, uh, was kind of tough just, you know, living paycheck to paycheck. Vu was a new Christian then and watched the 700 Club as much as possible. That's where he heard a message on money. As you plant seed, Jesus says, if you give, it will be given unto you. One of the key principles I learned from Pat was the law of reciprocity that he taught on how that if you give, God will give back unto you. There were certain months that I did struggle, and that was really took a lot of faith to write that check out to CBN. But you know what? I was obedient to God and, and uh, obedient to the principle of giving. Vu began praying for a way to get out of his minimum wage job, cleaning aquariums at a pet store. During that time, there was a housing market boom, so people were putting an expensive aquarium in their houses. So on my days off, people would always ask me, Vu, what are you doing? Uh, come help clean my tank. Come help me set up my tank. On my days off, I would be making more money on my days at work, so figure that one out. Vu started his own aquarium cleaning business, which was an instant moneymaker. I don't even advertise, and I have so much work that I couldn't even handle that I had to hire people to help me out. Because the Bible says that once you give, the Lord will bless you. And not only that, but He'll cause men to heap unto your bosom. That's people supporting what you do, supporting what you sell, and um, supporting your business. Vu's servicing business made so much profit, he was able to go into retail as well and opened a store. He also increased his giving to CBN and joined the 2500 Club. As I start increasing my level of giving, I saw how God had blessed my business and opened up other doors. The more level of faith I took, I saw more results, how God had blessed and prospered. Today, Vu makes 10 times more than he did when he worked his minimum wage job. I encourage people to take that leap of faith and write out that check and bless God's kingdom. God will bless you back in ways that you can't even imagine. Let God bless you. This, this new year, let God bless you. Just start living in accordance with His terms and see what He'll do for you. What, what He's done for others, He will do for you. Here it is from Psalm 128. It's a wonderful promise. How joyful are those who fear the Lord. All who follow His ways, you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. How joyful and prosperous you will be. That is the Lord's blessing for those who fear Him. And that can be your blessing, too. Start an adventure in giving. Join the 700 Club. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Be a part of everything we're doing around the world. Uh, we're feeding the hungry. We're clothing those in need. We're providing housing for the homeless. Around the world, we're preaching the gospel through CBN World Reach. We're providing free medical care for people in India, Philippines, Indonesia, China. You can be a, be a part of all of it for just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. We're in the middle of an $82,000 challenge. We've got 23 minutes to go on it. We get the red number up. We're heading to victory on this one, 59,000 left, but we still need to hear from you. 23 minutes, call us, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? The couple in our next story would do anything for their little boy. So when he was diagnosed with a serious heart condition, they did everything they could to raise money. All Mr. and Mrs. Chi ever wanted was a healthy child. 
Their first baby died of a bad cold at five months. They had a miscarriage with their second child. Then eight years into their marriage, Mrs. Chi gave birth to Yang Ming. He looked perfectly normal at first, but then his lips started to turn purple. Mr. Chi rushed Yang Ming to the hospital, where their couple's worst fears were realized. Their son had two holes in his heart. Without open heart surgery, he too would die. I couldn't handle losing another child. Every day I asked myself, why do all these bad things keep happening to me? So Mr. Chi set out to save Yang Ming's life. He took a second job in a coal mine, working extra shifts to raise money for his son's surgery. He even borrowed from friends and family. Still, there was never enough, and Yang Ming's health got progressively worse. He was in so much pain that he cried for seven days and seven nights straight. I burned incense to my idols to see if that would help, but it didn't. One doctor said baby Ming's time was running out and suggested the couple contact CBN immediately for help. Mr. Chi wrote CBN a letter. I really didn't think the letter would get us anywhere. I had started to believe nothing good would ever happen. But CBN changed that. CBN called us and said they had arranged free surgery for my son. I was so happy. Yang Ming came through his surgery and recovery time with flying colors. And today, he's a healthy baby boy. He eats well, and he sleeps well, and he's so full of energy. Your help and compassion for the poor means a lot to my family. Now I believe there are good-hearted people out there because you have given my son new life. This couple had suffered tremendous loss. They had had such pain in their lives. All they wanted was a healthy child. To find out that this little boy had such issues way beyond anything they could ever save enough money to fix. And then you stepped into the middle of that need and you gave this child life. You gave this family the, the future that they longed for. You brought hope. You brought an understanding of God's provision and love. Thank you, 700 Club members. That's the kind of thing you are making happen all around the world every day. For those of you who've not joined the 700 Club, do it today. This is an amazing opportunity to make a difference in the world. The power of one person to make a difference if they say yes when we all link arms together is incredible. So we invite you to do that today. You can't imagine how it'll make you feel. Go to your phone and call 1-800-759-0700. And if you are already a 700 Club member, prayerfully consider going up to the next club level so that we can reach even more families like this, even more children like this little one. You make that happen with your heartfelt gift. So please go to your phone and join with us now. 700 Club membership, Gordon told you, is 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're a 700 Club member, go up to 700 Club Gold. It's a commitment of $40 a month. Our 1,000 Club members join us at $84 a month. The 2,500 Club is $209 a month. Our founders are $417 a month or $5,000 a year. And then we have folks who say, I have the ability to do more than that. And they join us in our chairman circle with gifts of $10,000 or more a year. It's not the amount you give. It's that you ask the Lord, listen to him, and that you do what he asks you you to do. You can be a world changer. Call right now. We need to hear from you. Gordon? Well, they call themselves the forgotten people. In the West Bank, hundreds of Palestinian refugees live in tents and shacks. They don't have enough food and water, and many of them have never seen a doctor until now. Deep in the rocky hills of the West Bank is a group of refugees with no place to call home. They live in caves, tents, and shacks and every day is a fight for survival. Haji and her family live in this tent. Her sons are often gone looking for work, so she raises her grandchildren here. With no electricity and no running water, the whole village gets water from the same cistern. But with Israel in its seventh year of drought, the cisterns are running dry. We beg for water because they don't bring the water tank anymore. They want $85 for water. Where am I going to get $85? Haji's family and others try to earn money by selling the wool from their sheep. But in this rocky desert, their animals have nowhere to graze. 
and these shepherds have nowhere else to live. The other villages don't want us. They tell us we're on our own, and nobody recognizes us. We don't receive food or anything. We're forgotten. Recently, Operation Blessing Israel showed these families that they were not forgotten. We gave boxes of food and supplies to more than 450 people. Each family got a week's worth of rice, fresh fruit, powdered milk, and soap. We also brought them some much needed water. I asked them, please get us some water. They gave me three gallons of water, and they also got us water in the tanks. I am so overwhelmed with happiness that I want to fly. Operation Blessing also held free eye exams for people who hadn't seen a doctor in years and got glasses for those who needed them. While the doctors worked, volunteers gave toys to the children. For Haji and the others in this village, just being noticed means everything. This is the first time anyone has ever seen us. We can't believe it. We are so happy because of you. Thank you for helping us and caring for us. Operation Blessing Israel, bl bringing blessing to people in Israel, whether they're Muslim or Christian, um, Jewish, none of the above. We want to help people in need in Israel. We want to be a blessing to them. And you're a part of it when you join the 700 Club. If you haven't joined already, now's the time to call us. We're in the middle of an $82,000 challenge. Uh, we've got 16 minutes to go. We need to hear from you, so call us right now. 1-800-759-0700. Let's go to Christy at the phones. Christy? Thanks, Gordon. Okay, so I have a question for you. Are you the type of person who you have faith for someone else, or you could pray for someone else, you could believe that God has something good for them, but when it comes to your own walk, you kind of doubt it. You think, well, I don't know if God's going to do that for me. Well, listen, today's the day that we're going to change that thinking around. You see, God's a good God. He wants good for you. He wants you to walk in hope again, expectation again, and just faith again. That's why actually Pat and Gordon put together this DVD. It's called The Law of Expectation, and the whole concept of this DVD is to get you to expect good things to get in your life. In fact, this is what Gordon has to say about it. Take a look. You know, Jesus said it very clearly. If you've got this mustard seed of faith, then mountains are going to move. Because he knows this, that he comes in and does things far above anything we could ask or think. He says, okay, I'll take your expectation and I'll go higher because he wants to. You don't have to talk him into it. I love that you don't have to talk God into doing good things for your life. Isn't that encouraging? Well, it encourages me. You know, another way we want to encourage you is by giving this to you. How do you get it when you pick up the phone and call and say, I want to become a 700 Club partner? We've been talking about it all day, and what it pretty much is is when you say, listen, I want to help those folks out there. You know, life isn't sometimes all about me. It really is about others and how to bless them and meet their needs. So when you call in or log on to CBN.com and you become a 700 Club partner, this is our gift to you. Don't forget we're in the middle of a challenge, I got to bring that up. We only have 14 minutes left on this $82,000 challenge. So we need you to call right now. So if there's a little tap on your shoulder and you're feeling, should I, should I not, should I? Yeah, you should. Because not only will you be a blessing, but I promise you, you'll be blessed in return. Gordon? Well, over the past few years, America's newspapers have been hit hard by the recession. And after one sports reporter was laid off, he faced the toughest assignment of his life, finding another job in an industry that wasn't hiring. Corwin and Mary Murray love their small town life in Patterson, Louisiana, about an hour outside New Orleans. Mary is a high school English teacher, and Corwin is the sports reporter for the local newspaper and gets to work from home. I enjoy being a sports reporter because it keeps me close to sports, which I played growing up, and also keeps me close to home. And being home so much gives him a chance to catch the 700 Club. The Murrays are CBN partners. They joined after Mary began learning about tithing and asked Corwin if they could pledge. Basically, it was my wife saying that, that we were blessed and, you know, we should share that with others. And when you're in that situation, you know, you, you, just, you, know, you should do more. You're required to do more. But when the couple was living in Texas, 
Mary lost her job. They knew it would be tough living on just Corwin's income as a sports reporter at a Dallas newspaper. But one month later, Corwin lost his job too. Shocked, scared, didn't know what, what to do. Because the whole industry I was in was downsizing. You know, the whole newspaper industry, so it was, wasn't just me, it was all my friends in the business. It was bad, it was really bad. Mary was convinced everything would be okay, but Corwin didn't buy it. And I'm like, how's it gonna work out? You know, how's everything gonna be all right when I'm going from making $1,800 a week to making, you know, getting an unemployment check for 385? It's not gonna be all right. There were some days I'm like, okay, I'm telling Corwin this is gonna be okay, but I need somebody to tell me it's gonna be okay. Cause I, I, I can do the math and I was looking at the bills and thinking um, my money's not going to be as long as this month's going to be. The Murrays tithed off their unemployment checks, even though the bills were piling up. One day, Corwin got the idea to call his former boss at his hometown newspaper. He'd been a college intern there. He offered Corwin a job on the spot. I was just happy. Then I was going to be able to continue to do what I love, which was writing and being a reporter. So, I mean, I felt blessed right away, and I knew that it was a blessing from God. And when they moved to Louisiana, Mary landed a teaching job, making them once again a two-income family. You know, I can remember kind of thinking, God, thanks, because uh, now I, all the things I've been telling Corn about, it's gonna work out, it's gonna work out, it really has happened. And they make sure they tithe off those two incomes every month. You cannot afford not to tithe is what I would tell someone who is on the brink. And I would just say, hey, you know, try it. Try it and, and let God prove you wrong. Try it, let God prove you wrong. It's the only time in the Bible where God says, you can test me in this. You, you can try this and, and see if I won't open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing. That's exactly what happened to Mary and Corwin. If you can imagine getting a job in the newspaper business in these days where no newspaper is hiring, that is a miracle. And it happened to them because they were obedient to what God asked them to do. If you want to take an adventure in giving and see, and, and test God and see, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. What we're asking you to do is join the 700 Club. It's just 65 cents a day. That equals $20 a month. And, and you join tens of thousands of people that want to make a difference. They want to make a difference on the West Bank in Israel. They want to make a difference uh, in China. They want to make a difference in India, the Philippines, Indonesia, Africa, Latin America. You can make a difference around the world for just $20 a month. If that's you, call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. We need to stop the clock with nine minutes and 36 seconds to go on an $82,000 challenge. And CBN partners are saying that's not enough to do everything that's needed to be done around the world. They want to increase it. They want to add another 218,000 to it, take it all the way to $300,000. Yes. Let's pray. Lord, we just ask for blessing for this. We ask for multiplication. You are the God who multiplies. And when we look at the heavens, we see your generosity. When we see all the diversity on earth, we see your generosity, your abundance. And so, Lord, we just ask for abundance for your people. And as people are making decisions, we just ask that you would speak to them now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. We've got to the end of the hour on a $300,000 challenge. That's just 19 minutes. If we can, uh, let's... Let's check in with that red number to show you how much we have to go. 198,000 to go. Uh, that's roughly 10,000 a minute. We need to hear from you. So call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, a few years ago, the two children in this next story lost everything. Their parents, their home, their friends. In fact, they weren't even welcome on the streets of their own city until they found a home with CBN's Orphan's Promise. Shintu and his sister Rekha lived on the outskirts of Delhi, India. Even though they were healthy, most people didn't go anywhere near them because their parents are lepers. People outside would say, don't go to their house. 
or you'll become like them. Our father would work in the fields and drive a rickshaw. But after he lost some of his fingers and toes, it was hard for him to work. I used to think my father puts himself through so much pain in order to take care of us. When there was barely enough food to eat, their parents had no other choice but to take them to a children's home, sponsored by Orphan's Promise. It was the last time the children would ever see them. But it was the first time Shinto and Rekka felt accepted by others. When we came here, we were given everything. We got beds and a nice house with electricity. I liked having something to eat. I liked pizza and fish. And they were finally able to get a good education. I liked riding on the school bus. Now, nobody teases us. And they soon learned about Jesus Christ. They told me Jesus is the one true God who died and rose on the third day. I started believing in God and he showed me how to be a good boy. One day, as I was walking towards the church altar, I heard Jesus say to me, My child, don't cry. That's when I started to believe in Jesus. Now Shinto and Rekka want to use what they've learned to help others. When I grow up, I want to become a preacher and teach others to share because when someone doesn't have anything, people need to help. I love Jesus very much. I'm not hungry anymore. I get everything I need and everybody shows me love. I want to thank Orphan's Promise. They took good care of us and helped us when we didn't have anything. Not just a place where they're acceptable, a place where they're valued, a place where they're safe, a place where they're loved, where they're provided for, where truth is taught and where opportunity is available to everyone. You make that possible with your gifts to CBN. Thank you so much for supporting the work of Orphan's Promise. We love touching the, the lives of these children in the name of Jesus Christ and you make it possible for that to happen. You are what is really the engine of everything that goes forth from here and we thank you for that. Listen, if you're going to your phone right now, if God's speaking to your heart about being a part of the solution solution to this kind of need in the world. When you say, I want to join the 700 Club, when you call our toll-free number, 1-800-759-0700, will you consider giving through Pledge Express? It's electronic monthly giving, means your bank does all the work. It's actually a wonderful opportunity for you to have none of the hassle, and it saves us money on our end. Enough that we want to say thank you for choosing to do that by sending you these Power for Life teachings each month. These are teachings that we enjoy receiving here at CBN, and we want to share them with you. So call now, say I want to join the 700 Club at whatever level you decide, and I'd like to do it through Pledge Express. And by the way, you can also do it by logging on to CBN.com. Gordon? I tell you, Terry, when I see these Orphan's Promise stories, uh, your heart just, just gets yeah. thrilled with it. And, and what is happening around, you're in 54 countries now? 54 countries now. You know what I love about this story? I've been to the home that these two children live in, and it's fabulous. It's run by a wonderful pastor and his wife. His family's involved. It's a family setting. But these kids live in a culture where they had become untouchables. Mm -hmm. They had no hope. There's no way up that ladder. But not anymore. I mean, you really have have changed their lives and the lives of right. all of the children you see around them. It's, it's an amazing opportunity. And, and not just for this lifetime, but for all eternity. And, and how can you put a price on that? You know, we, we, we tend to keep Terry in perpetual jet lag and she's <laughs> traveling to 54 countries <laughs> and she's going to be going off to, to Africa next month. And, and, you know, it's just incredible to see what's happening. Part of our goal here is to increase Orphan's Promise 400% over the next five years. Uh, we want to help the orphans of the world, and, and we need your help in order to do, to do that. This is our January telethon. This is the time where we uh, literally decide the budget. How much budget are we going to have to do the various things needed around the world? And uh, whether it's water wells or medical missions, uh, helping those through Operation Blessing Israel, through Orphan's Promise, preaching the gospel via television through CBN World Reach. You become a part of it when you join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. 
and what price can you put on seeing a young, uh, young people, young orphans, their lives transformed for all eternity? That can be you when you join. So call us, 1-800-759-0700. Just say, yes, I want to be a part of it. I want to, I want to be a part of everything you're doing. We're in a $300,000 challenge. We're expecting great things today. Amen. Let's get that red number up, 164. We've got a long way to go in order to make that. A challenge means existing CBN partners love CBN. They love what we're doing, love what we're doing around the world. They want to challenge others to give. And so for the next 12 minutes, they'll match it dollar for dollar up to, at this point, 160,000 left on a $300,000 challenge. So if you've been waiting, this, these are the, the final days of this January telethon. We need to hear from you. This is, the, this is our, our budget-making telethon. We've got to hear from you now. So call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. We're hearing from some very generous pa partners. We're going to take this red number down. From Wichita Falls, Texas. I didn't know there's a Wichita Falls, Texas, but 2,500 club members saying I'm doubling to, to founder, 5,000. Dollars from San Marcos, California. Chairman Circle, ten thousand dollars. You've got two there. I do. This is Mobile, Alabama. This is a brand new founder, five thousand and four dollars. And here's someone from Ponder or Powder, no Ponder, Texas. Ponder, Texas. A special gift. They're saying we'd like to give five thousand dollars. Thank you, Texas. Thank you all. They pondered it and decided <laughs> to give. You ponder it. You decide to give as well. 1-800-759-0700. Well, in one Nigerian village, people gathered in a pastor's home to watch the 700 Club. During the show one day, they got to watch something even better. A crippled child taking her very first steps. Aminat had always been a sickly child. Her mother, Aishat, worried about her constantly. Okay, but it will be. When she was a few months old, I noticed she didn't babble or gurgle like other babies. She only coughed. She never sat up or crawled like other children. I knew something was wrong and did everything I could to make her well. She owned a small food stand, but spent everything she had on herbalists and shamans. Her daughter never got better and couldn't walk. Soon, Aishat had no money and lost her shop. Neighbors like Khadijat helped whenever they could. I knew how sick the child was. When times were especially bad for them, my family supported them financially. One day I shot was talking to a friend who said her son was healed after watching the 700 Club at a pastor's house. I did not believe that anything could come out of it at first. But after we started watching the 700 Club, I noticed Aminat's cough had stopped. That was the first miracle. My friend then encouraged me to believe in Jesus Christ. Over the next few days, Aminat steadily got better and better. That made Aishat think a lot about God and her beliefs. She kept watching the 700 Club. The first time we watched the program at home, I held Aminat on my lap. As the host prayed, she suddenly jumped up and began to walk around. I followed her around wondering if this was real. Aishat and Aminat found the pastor and gave their lives to Christ. When they got home, their friends and neighbors were shocked to see Aminat walking and asked what happened. That day, seven other Muslims, including Khadijat, gave their lives to Christ too. When I gave my life to Christ, the change was tremendous. I began to see wonders in my life too. And to help Aishat get back on her feet financially, Operation Blessing rented her a small shop and stocked it with everything she needed to get her business going again. Now I tell people who believe in shamans that they don't work. I tell them they just need to follow Jesus. I want to say thank you to the 700 Club. The program has changed my life. May God bless you abundantly. The program has changed my life. You can be a part of changing lives around the world. All you have to do is join the 700 Club. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Just say yes, I want to be a part of everything you're doing, not just here in America, but around the world. You can also log on to CBN.com. When you give through the internet, you automatically sign up for Pledge Express. It's electronic monthly giving. 
Uh, there's no checks to write, nothing to mail in. The bank does all the work. We've saved so much on the processing, we're able to send as our gift back to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you want it, ask for a Pledge Express when you call or log on to CBN.com. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Thanks, thanks, Gordon. Well, you know, the 700 Club changed my life too. I used to watch the 700 Club faithfully for at least years before I ever even came here. Never thought God would bless me to work here, but this place is, it will change your life when you join the 700 Club. Well, I want you to know today that God believes in you. He's for you, he loves you, and he wants to bless you, but he's asking you to do just one thing today. Believe that he can. Jesus said, be it done unto you according to your faith. In other words, what you believe God will do, that's what he says he'll do. It's known as the law of expectation. It's the subject of Pat and Gordon's latest teaching. This is a dy dynamic teaching that you'll want to get and you will get when you join the 700 Club. Plus on here, Pat talks about the favor of God and why you need that as well. Take a look. God will give you favor. Ask him for favor. Say, God, I want your favor. I want to walk in your favor. I want to believe your promises. I'm not going to question your goodness. I'm going to amen you. When you tell me that this is what the word says, I'm going to say amen, God, and let it so be. The Law of Expectation, available now. You can expect great things this year. We want you to have the law of expectation. It's all about changing your mindset and learning how to think differently so that you can put yourself in a position to be radically blessed by God. This is yours when you call right now, 1-800-759-0700, or you can log on to CBN.com. Our beautiful counselors are waiting right now to take your call. We're in the middle of a $300,000 challenge. That means that every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So please go to your phones right now. Gordon? Well, over the past two years, America's trucking industry has been hit hard by the recession. For Ricky Bibbs and his wife, business went down and the bills piled up. As owners of a trucking company, Ricky and Winna Bibbs watched fuel bills climb from their normal $20,000 a week up to $50,000 per week. Freight slowed down, the economy, everything tightened up. You know, everything we had was, was sinking into the business and we just wouldn't be able to hold out much longer. That's just where you just lay on the Lord and then you just say, hey God, you know, this is in your hands. You know, we're trying to do this to glorify you. And if he wants us in business, he'll keep us there. Ricky and Winna were faithful tithers and had been CBN partners for years. During this recession, Ricky was inspired by Operation Blessings Ministry to a local food bank. Ricky had a desire to give even more. My first response was, not right now, wait till a better time. You can't wait till the convenient time because the need is here, the opportunity is here. And so uh, you got to just be willing to trust God and leave it with Him. So they called CBN and increased their commitment from $20 to $500 a month. Ricky scraped by from week to week with no real change. However, with the new year, they saw a major breakthrough in their business. All of a sudden, it's just like, you know, a change in the atmosphere. We've had local business keep us busy six days a week, and I thought, you know, that has to be from God. I mean, I tried for years to get local, couldn't get it. God has just opened up doors. We've had more freight that we can handle. Uh, we've signed two or three new contracts, and uh, we've just seen God do do great things for us. Recently, Steadfast Transcontinent added four trucks to its lineup. It's the only place in the Bible that uh, God gives us the right to test him. And he says, test me, try me, prove me with your offerings and see if I don't open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't even be able to receive. And so I'm just, uh, just crazy enough to believe that. This year, let God do great things for you. He wants to. He wants to provide for you. He wants to take care of you. What he's waiting for is for you to say, okay, I'll, I'll do things God's way. He says, test me, I'll test him. If you want to take an adventure in giving, give us a call. 1-800-759-0700. We're counting down four minutes left on a $300,000 challenge. We need to hear from you. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. We're asking you to join with what we're doing. Join the 700 Club. It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day, and you affect and change lives all around the world. You can be a part of it. Call us right now, 1-800-759-0700. Terry? Well, most children take a backpack to school every morning, but in Guatemala, we met a boy who had to carry something else to class, a bucket of water. 
Very early every morning, 11-year-old Berto and his father take a tedious one-hour trek up a mountainside to collect water. And coming down the mountain with buckets full of water can be even more tricky. Once we went up to get water and I dropped my bucket, we had to climb up again. But Berto and his dad don't just get water for themselves. They share a bucket with Berto's school, which has more than 100 students and no fresh water supply. Once I drank from the water at school and my stomach began to hurt, and the doctor said that it was caused by the dirty water I used to drink at school. So Operation Blessing decided to dig a well right on the grounds of the neighborhood school. And we even provided the children and staff with an electric pump, sinks, and faucets so they can have easy access to clean water. And that means no more trips to the top of the mountain for Berto. Now that I don't go up the mountain to get water, I wake up a little later, I eat a better breakfast, I finish my homework on time. Thank you very much to all of you who gave us the water. You know, the needs of people in so much of the world are so basic, really simple by American standards, and yet really impossible to have, impossible to achieve or accomplish, unless someone like you or like me comes into the midst of their situation and says, I'm willing to make a difference. And that's what we're asking you today. Are you willing to make a difference in the lives of people whose needs are definitely approachable, changeable? It changes their lifestyle. Can you imagine this little boy every single morning having to get up at the crack of dawn, walk an hour one way with his father, haul water back. He doesn't have time for breakfast. He doesn't have time for anything. He's got to get up before the sun comes up and haul all of this so he can take a bucket of water to school. You have changed that not just for him, but for all the children at that school. And we say thank you. Gordon? Well, today, millions of Americans are looking for work. A few years ago, Angel Mendoza was one of them. He not only needed a new job, he needed a fresh start in life. And here's how people like you helped him get it. Angel Mendoza is a chef and a full-time college student. But a few years ago, he went to prison as a meth addict. I got sold, spun out on the drugs, that I totally lost track of what I was doing. After his release, Angel went to live at a rescue mission. I started getting involved in cooking, and then I started running the kitchen there. The director of the mission told Angel about a culinary training program at Victory Trade School which is supported by CBN. This place helped me to transition me into getting back into society by applying those principles and those values that I learned. They let me know what the love of God is and they've expressed it and showed it to me. Through your gifts, CBN can continue helping to change lives like angels. No matter what, I'm always gonna give it my best. I'm gonna give it my all, not just in education or work, but in my life with my family. It's allowed me to know that no matter how hard it looks, nothing's impossible to overcome, especially when you got God on your side. All right, we're counting down to victory. We got 69,000 left on a $300,000 challenge and some other partners with CBN saying, we want to extend this into the next hour. They're adding another 200,000 to it, taking it to $500,000. Yes. For those watching now, we leave you with these words from John 15. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. If you're watching on ABC Family, stay tuned. Hi, I'm Gordon Robertson. Jesus told us that if we have faith, we can speak to the mountain and it will move. Are there mountains in your life that you're currently facing? How do you break through the limits of your faith and see the miracles God has promised you in His Word? My father and I have put together a special teaching, The Law of Expectation. In it, you'll discover how to train your heart and mind to expect great things. In this latest DVD, The Law of Expectation, Pat and Gordon Robertson bring you powerful principles of thought and behavior that can transform your life you'll discover the power of expectations in your life, how to break through the limits of your faith, and what it means to agree with God and receive His favor and abundance.
Get the law of expectation and learn to expect and experience the wonderful blessings God has for you.